In this video, I will show you a useful and simple way of obtaining low tar gas by heating fuel with engine exhaust heat. Exhaust temperature sometimes reaches 500 degrees, of course, if you insulate the pipeline supplying the exhaust to the gasifier. The patent that mentions this method was filed in 1930 by comrade I. Voynich. But it is still relevant today. Heating fuel by engine exhaust is even used by a well-known gasifier's manufacturer, All Power Labs. And it is smart to do so. According to studies by Soviet scientists, the real benefit of heating a wood bunker with hot generator gas doesn't exceed 6%. Besides, the wood is actually heated to the semi-coke state only within a 10 to 15 centimeters layer above the Tuyer belt. Generator gases rapidly lost heat. They had not enough energy to heat the fuel further up the length of the entire bunker, so they were no longer of much use. The scientists used 4.5 turn coils which lengthened the gas travel. This increased the efficiency by another 2.5% and also cooled the gas allowing to reduce the number of coolers. Imbert's partner Lennel suggested making another jacket around the gasifier for air input so that the heat from the outer gasifier casing would not dissipate into the atmosphere but heat the incoming air. This allowed to raise the efficiency and put would have increased, not 20% but 35%, humidity into a downdraft gasifier. The wood ignition temperature is about 600 degrees. The more we heat the wood, the higher temperature and process efficiency and less tar we obtain. This method can also be applied by heating the air that comes to a gasifier through two years utilizing engine exhaust through the heat exchanger. But let's look at the patent. The author proposes to make a multi-shaft gasifier. That is, it should have several hoppers with wood in them. These hoppers are washed with hot gases, this space is marked with the number 7. The figure shows many more tubes. The author proposes to heat steam in them. He also suggests making the hoppers ribbed for better heat transfer. I assume that in our case, it is enough to make an upper half of the usual gasifier hopper with three pipes 159 or 219 millimeters in diameter, for example. Engine exhaust should be forwarded to these pipes to heat the upper wood layer where already cold generator gas reaches. All power labs also heats wood with exhaust at the top of the hopper. And yes, my team and I produce videos for you every day. I try my best getting up at 5 a.m. so that in addition to my main work I have time to write scripts for videos. If you feel you are ready not just take but also to give, please donate, card numbers and other payment detail are given in the description under the video. See you soon.